Okay, um, let's talk about this uh, multiple alternative, meaning uh, if, else, if statement. Basically, the things that you need to about this um, multi-way branching is um, that the only one statement will be executed. So this is the flow chart with the weaker scale. So basically, we will use the earthquake uh, effect example. If the uh, value, if the Ricoh scale is greater than 8, then most structures fall. And if the Ricoh scale is between eight, 8 and 7, the many buildings are destroyed, and etc. So this is something that you like to um, implement. Right? And so this is like flow chart. Right? So, uh, and then this is the um, this is the uh, implementations, right? And then they ask, hey, what's wrong with the following code? So if you look at the previous code, if the weaker scale is greater than 8.0, then most structures fall, and else if, and etc. But the thing that you should know about this um, if, else if statements is that only, even though you have, you have a lot of conditions, right? Only one statement will be executed, right? So um, depends on this uh, statement, and then but if you look at this code, there is no else if. Instead, it has what? It has multiple if statement. And if okay, the problem with this code is that if the weaker scale is let's say a nine, right? then this is something that you want to print but in this case since you have a multiple uh, separate if statements you this program will end up printing everything so for example if the weakness scale is 9 then this will be printed right obviously and if it's 9 it's 9 is greater than 7 so this again will be uh, printed so etc so this is the this is not what you want right so you should that's why instead of using multiple if statement you should use if else if statement so i'll use the uh, example using uh let's say uh, i'll use an example uh, like i use another example so uh, let's file new file Okay, so this is a Python shell, right? And then I'll say, um, I'm going to make the program, right? So if grade is greater than or equal to 90, then what? You will get an A, right? So I'm going to use uh, multiple alternative uh, if statement, meaning if, else if, ELIF, if grade is greater than my 80 then this program will print B so that's your grade and then ELIF if grade is greater than equal to what let's say 70 then you will see you will get a C right and then else if so that this is default case if none of the above conditions are satisfied, then the default statement will be uh, executed, which is in this case D or you know, F. Right? So let's say uh, you receive your grade is, uh, let's say, 85. Right? Then uh, this program will uh, print this case then it's going to execute this whole if statement so my point is that since you, even though you have a full statement only one um, statement will be printed right since you use uh, multiple alternative uh, if statement which is if else if else if and else so first let's run this code
enable this file as multiple alternatives. So it's going to print B, right? It's going to print B. But let's say if I try to do the same thing uh, using just separate if statement, uh, a lot of people make the following mistake. example let's say if grade is greater than 90 then they'll say print a right so far good so good and then the next one is instead of using else if they think that they can use another if statement so for example if grade is greater than or equal to 80 then what print b right then they'll they use another if statement if grade is greater than or equal to 70 and then you have to say print C right etc so I'll just stop here and so let's say if your grade is this time well let's say you got 95 well that's uh, 95 right so you expect to get an A Right? But if you run this code, the problem is this, this uh, code snippet will print A, B, and C. Because this is not, uh, this is what? One separate if statement, there's another separate if statement, and there's a third if statement. Whereas, this is, you can think as a, this is like one big uh, if statement. So that's why in this case only one statement will be executed but this case you have what three different if statements whereas you have only one big if statement so when the grade is 95 this is a true so you'll print a this program will print a then it's and the grade is at this point 95, right? The 95 is greater than 80, yes. So print B. And then um, 95 is greater than 70, so print a C. So this is obviously it's not the result that you uh, expect, right? So um, let me see, just to this. Uh, make a differentiate from the previous example I'll just comment okay so I just run this As you can see, you will get an unexpected result. Then we'll print A, B, and C, even though your grade is 95. And what? The right result should be what? This program is supposed to print only A, right? So this is like a, uh, when people, even though they have people thinking about this, and a lot of people make a, a following mistake by writing a C different if statement. Okay? So, uh, so I'm done with uh, multiple alternatives uh, case.